Hello everyone and welcome to some Worms Revolution. That's right. Um, the reason I'm trying this, well, I think it's because Worms is fucking amazing. Um, I mean, come on. <laughs> like, this, Worms is a shit. And also because I'm trying the open broadcast software, which I've never used before. And then when most people, sorry, when most people hear that, the sim that I'm going to be streaming, which I would love to do, I just can't because my internet sucks balls. Um, Nature is wisdom. I once locked a bear, a lion, and an elephant in a room to learn this wisdom. It was carnage. But you can learn so much of the training camp. You face eight missions in. But um, it's just like shadow play at times, which is the stuff that I normally use because it's really, really easy. Um, like you, be, like you can just literally, as long as you have like the G force. I don't know if you use it, um, but what the fuck? So I'm getting cables mixed up here. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, as long as you have GeForce um, experience um, open uh, and you have a 600 series or higher, you can use Shadow Play. And if it's as long as you have to turn that on, it's really simple, but um, really easy. But the only problem with that is, is there is times when, for whatever reason, whether it be the developers or the program itself, games don't allow you to record it. Like for this game, for example, I uh, picked it for Shadow Play. You have to have um, each game done in full screen. So I have put this game into full screen, create ratios, whatever. And even though it isn't full screen, uh, the Shadow Play still wouldn't work on the game. So I thought, well, I'll try a different um, recording software and see if we get any luck with that. Anyway, where is my controller? Because I ain't keyboarding some worms. Sorry, I'm just not. So I'm gonna do this is basically like a test. I wish I watched like a 15 minute video. Um I, I watched a 15 minute video basically um teaching you how to kind of use I mean, obviously like anything else only watch it once I don't have a fun These amazingly intelligent and highly evolved worms. My initial thoughts were, what's the best way to kill them? Any wildlife documentary maker worth his salt should be able to take down any endangered species with nothing more than a biro. An elastic band and a briefcase full of explosives. Now, you can experience hardcore, full on, worm to worm combat at grassroots level. But this isn't just about fighting, it's about observing nature, collecting wildlife data, cross referencing. Actually, it's about fighting. Get stuck in. What lift can I use this in? Ah, see? Get your little arrow keys out of here. Hi. Whoa! Hi. I like the fact that, like, the keys... This is, like, shows you how, like, PC... It's done it. it doesn't tell you the actual keys. When you decide to use the controller over... Over the piece, uh, keyboard, obviously. Press right shift to select a weapon. So we're gonna do left. E. So it's B. So left shift is B. Know your environment. Familiarize your ocular pods with every inch of the terrain, except that little bit there. That's nothing. Look at the keys there, can you see that shit? Right, so that's a right stick. Wow. Really didn't like optimize this. Good job. <laughs> poor, poor optimization, man. Your first kill. It's like crisps. You can't have just one. Clear this area of worms. I'm thinking I'm pretty sick instead of 200 health. Come on in. Me. Yes. Where is that? Eight. Boom. 
Why does it keep resetting me? Am I like only allowed to get like total? What the fuck? Wow, really? It keeps like resetting me. Let me get this full. Maybe there's some uh, PC glitches that haven't been really like worked out yet. He was one day away from retirement. Sad for him, but visually pleasing. Got a feeling. Next target, please. That the gameplay may be a wee bit quiet. So forgive me as I say, this is a very, very first time. What am I doing? Yeah. And um, I've used the software, so if the gameplay is a little bit quiet, then oh, it's just because I've, I've reduced the the game volume a little too much. Just I instinctively assume A would be to jump. Hi. I had a bunch, which is this boy here. Which is. Oh, yeah. That'd be a lot boy then. Hey, yeah, that's what I thought. Whoops, sorry. Remember, we're here only to observe and document worm activity and blow some up. Choose the grenade. All right, okay. B. Head. I'm away. I'm going to go for... Oh, Jesus, he's got an arm on him, isn't he? Fuck. A wildlife filmmaker can't get attached to the animals he records. So let's blow another one up to remain impartial. Him. Fair enough. Damn it. It's um A. Jesus. With wildlife filming, you need dynamic shots to hold the viewer's attention. Try an airstrike on that worm there. I've got a really bad feeling like the game volume is just crazy low. Do you know what's ironic? Is like even in um, test videos, I hate. <laughs> What a test video? Wait. So what is the qu wait? Uh, how do you that? I would imagine it would be Y maybe? Oh yeah. Like even in a test video, I hate when things aren't right. <laughs> oh, how stupid is that? Yeah. Like you have test of software. Oh, is something not right with the test. First wildlife campaign completed. Okay, you killed all the wildlife, but we did get some great shots, and that's what's important. Excellent. Good medal. Thanks, man. Anyway, we'll leave you here. Um, hopefully, it worked out right. Um, I'm just hoping this like broadcast software. It's a lot more effort. It seems to actually. Make videos, um, as far as like setting them up to be like as I'm preparing to record. Uh, it seems like in the long run, it's like a little bit more of a consistent way of recording videos and games. The only thing I don't know if you can set up is the fact that 
doesn't really tell you when you're recording and when you're not recording. For example, Shadow Play has got a circle in the center, like whatever um, corner of the screen you want to select, and then when you record, it's got a green circle inside it, which obviously doesn't show up in the most part for the videos. The only reason it doesn't say it much, I don't know why. But in this, you just have to know that you've pressed the button once, you know what I mean? Whereas, like, I've got like a the like glove that I imagine like a lot of people on mechanical keyboard it's a little sensitive so sometimes you like accidentally press the button like twice so I don't know if you can set up like a recording thing like a symbol to show you that yes you are recording I okay, hope you enjoyed this uh, as I say test hopefully everything works out already okay I'll check it with our loader and I'll catch you all next time